So I'm waiting for a taxi right now, and I'm going to make a journey to Frankie the 3DO Mobsters Club in Mayfair, as I've got the 411 from my friends the Fash Gang that he has some rare games from the 90s that he's willing to trade or sell. So I'm gonna check it out, and hopefully get some 3DO games and build up my 3DO collection. So I get into the taxi, and the lady driving seemed very nice at first. We had some good casual chit chat. So where is it you're going, sweet? I'm going to Mayfair in some dodgy nightclub. I think it's called Feathers. I got word that the owner of that club might have some rare video games and he's took time out of his busy schedule to meet me for a trade. Oh like Xbox and PlayStation, yeah? My nephew likes all of that. Yeah, but I'm looking for Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, NES and all the old school games. And then, the taxi driver took the conversation to a sordid turn. So, you're good with a joystick then? Well, I only have a joystick with the Atari 2600. And I'd say I'm quite the pro on such games as Pitfall and Berserk. Although I almost did buy a Mega Drive joystick from a market in Coventry a couple of years back. But they wanted 20 quid. I was all, you can fuck off if you think that Pat the Angry Game Chaser historian is paying retail on that. Never did go back to that market. Although I did get Tiny Toon Adventures Babs Big Break boxed for the Game Boy for a tenner, which was in pristine condition. I'm talking about the joystick in your pants, mate. I don't have a joystick in my pants, you daft cow. Ha 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 ha. Why would I put a joystick in my pants? To pretend I have a penis? Well I don't need to pretend because I have a penis. Oh, you were talking about my cock. Of course I was. How about this, you whip your joystick out and you can press my buttons with it, and I'll give you a free ride. Hey, I have a better idea. Why don't you take me to my destination? There's rare 3DO games, and I want to get to them before the charity shop hunter bags all of them. You have no idea how many times that throb the bagged some classic titles under my nose. I'm not letting him win this time. The thought of him owning plumbers don't wear tires when I don't is making me vomit. Now keep driving and stop with the sex chat, you degenerate. I was at the end of my rope. I really needed to get to Mayfair to get those games, but the taxi driver just wouldn't take the hint. If she continued wasting my time, then I feared Frankie the 3DO mobster would sell his games to my competition such as the charity shop hunter or rich king retro. I was worried. Dead fucking worried. Have you heard of Fake Taxi? What? No. I have heard of Crazy Taxi though, which is an absolute fun game. In fact, I need a copy for my Sega Dreamcast since my other copy was broken when Mark Wright pissed on my Dreamcast when I held a party in my gaff. Never forgiven that twat for doing that. He did get me a new Dreamcast though, but it wasn't a Dreamcast where I could play import games. So he can fuck off. Look. Here's the deal. You either give me a good rogering and I then I take you to your destination, or you can fucking walk. Your choice, mate. You can't do that. I should report you to trading standards. That is bang out of order. And besides, I only make love to a woman either out of love, or if she has video games that I need for offer. I really, really needed to get to that club and get those games. So I came up with a compromise. I remembered she told me her nephew had some games, so I told her I will pleasure her treasure in exchange for getting me to the club on time, and going to her nephew's house and get a few games from there. It was a fair deal and she lived up to the bargain. So I will be going to her nephew's gaff on the next episode, and hopefully he'll have some good games, and not fucking common as fuck games like FIFA and Grand Theft Auto. So the taxi driver got me to the club on time, and I arrived with my games in my bag and met up with Frankie the 3DO mobster. 
How's it going Frankie? My name is Bait the Angry Game Chaser Historian. I understand from my good friends the Fash Gang that you may have some 3DO games for trade. How about this? I will trade you this complete in-box copy of World Championship Wrestling signed by Vito for the NES in exchange for some 3DO games. Maybe Demolition Man or Plumbers don't wear ties? Go fuck yourself. Although, I'll be happy to take that copy of WCW off your hands. Okay understandable, I was pushing it there a little. So how about WCW for just plumbers don't wear ties? Did you not listen? Do you not understand English? I said go fuck yourself, unless you're giving me that game for free. I really did not appreciate Frankie trying to bully me out of games, just because he was a big time mobster. Well he doesn't scare. I've done business with Chris Arcabusi, the most badass gangster rapper in the UK, and he was nothing more than a gent. So if Frankie thought he could intimate me, he was more wrong than an incest gang bang. You dirty cocksucker. If you don't give me that game, I will fucking shoot you dead right where you stand. Ooh you big scary man. You think you're such a pro on a gun? Ha. I am more skillful with a gun than you. I am quite the duck hunt player. Speaking of which, what do you think of duck hunt? Duck hunt? I love duck hunt. It was right there and then he fell into my trap. Well the joke is on you Frankie, because right now I have a hidden GoPro camera in my persons which I always use when I go on my charity shop and car boot hunts. And that camera has just captured you admitting that you love duck vaginas. So here's the deal, you give me plumbers don't wear ties, and you can keep demolition man because it's probably shit, and in exchange, you get nothing because you were being a dick to me. Duck vaginas? What the fuck are you on about, you brit dickhead? Name a woman's body part that rhymes with hunt. Gunt? Cunt? Duck cunt? Fuck. Okay. You win, British man. Plumbers don't wear ties is yours. But if I see you near feathers again, I will decapitate you and play with your head like it was a soccer ball. Now get the fuck out. Once again, Pat the angry game chaser historian got his game. So I went home to see if it worked, and to my dismay, that wanker gave me a faulty copy. It didn't work. Not only did he shaft me out of a game, but he shafted my viewers out of a fair and balanced review. People like Kerwortham, Bal Latter B-Boy and Andy Maiden are going to be fucking angry, and so they should, because Frankie the 3DO mobster has conned me and conned those three of a good review and history of that game. So after I discovered I had been done, I made a phone call to a mate of mine. And he has got some choice words for Mr. Frankie the 3DO Mobster. Frankie the 3DO Mobster, welcome to the fascist execution. No! No! So